Hey guys, welcome back to the Ask Mario Show. This is episode 41. And for this episode, I'm actually filming it here in the harbor of Helsinki. It's a beautiful day here, although it's quite cold to be in September, but ah, whatever, let's film it. So the today's question will be about what is the genetic potential? How much muscle can you actually gain so you know how to make your diet work so you don't gain too much fat? So the question of the day came from Sanel. Sanel is asking, hey Mario, let's say you're training four, six times a week heavy workouts. Can you eat too much of the right stuff? So I'm going to ask you, what is the right stuff? <laughs> There's this common belief that as long as you're training, you're just growing the more you eat, if it's the right stuff. <laughs> so is there a clear line of how much is enough? When, uh, when I eat, I can eat a lot. And that's why I'm a bit confused. So before I even say anything about this thing, I just want to say that what am I going to say about genetic potential is very, very individual. So I'm going to present you some average numbers that I got from experts who've had a lot of experience with a lot of clients who analyzed natural bodybuilders, who analyzed guys who just want to get in good shape. So all the numbers here are obviously subject under your genetic individual potential, your unique characteristics that only you can test out for yourself. So with that being said, uh, even before I dive into the genetic potential, what is the right stuff? That, that is something that caught my eye in this question. So I'm assuming that you mean by eating the correct macronutrients. And yes, you can get fat if you eat the quote unquote, the best food in the world. Food is still calories, but accurately kilocalories. So if you eat a lot of those calories, you're still going to gain fat if you eat more than you spend. Simple. There's no magic in food. Food is simply a permission to the body to grow. So if you feed the body with enough protein, typically around between 0.83 grams per pound of lean body mass to about 1.3 grams per pound of lean body mass. If you feed body that, plus give it enough calories, it has permission to grow. So it's not a stimulant itself. Don't confuse food as stimulants. I mean, I get a lot of questions from guys. They're like, oh man, I just want to First, I want to start eating good so I can build muscle and then I'm going to go to the gym. Obviously, one will not work without the other. The, the stimulants will come from training. The permission to grow will come from the diet. It's a very clear distinction there. So how much can you actually gain? So you know how to make your diet, how to set those calories to be, I guess, the precise amount as accurately as you possibly can so you don't gain too much fat while still gaining muscle. So I'm gonna present you a quick model, which was done by Lyle McDonald. It's a really good expert. I'm actually gonna put the link to his entire article in the description below for you guys to check out. It's a really good article, probably the best article written on the genetic potential. Really respect that guy, awesome dude. So his uh, study, his, I guess his research, the first year of training, an individual, a male individual, can expect to gain between 20 and 20 po 25 pounds of muscle. That comes about two pounds per month. That's the first year of training if you've never done training before. The second year of training, that comes down to about 10 to 12 pounds a year, and that's one pound per month. And on the third year of training, that is five to six pounds per year. That's about half a pound per month. And four plus years, that's the advanced elite category, I guess. It comes down to about two to three pounds of muscle per year. And the monthly is so low, it's not even worth calculating. The first thing I wanna say about these numbers is that they're averages, right? If you're an older guy, you could probably expect to be on the lower end of gaining. If you're a younger guy who's uh, never trained before, who has better genetics, you probably can't expect to be on the higher end and all the other individual differences. I mean, he's assuming that you're doing intelligent training. This is not just like going to the gym and having some fun. This is intelligent training, good workouts, solid plan, everything planned out, good diet as well, diet with enough protein, with properly calculated calories. So what can he take out of this to incorporate in your diet, specifically in Sanal's case, because he has probably read somewhere you can eat as much as you want, it'll still be growing. So what I would take out of this is essentially the stable, which I'm going to also post in the description below. You want to make sure that your diet is not resulting in the first, if you're training just, if it's your first year of training, you want to make sure that your diet is, doesn't result in gains more than two pounds per month. Because let's say you're gaining 10 pounds per month. 
you can assume that only two pounds are muscle and eight pounds will probably be fat, water weight a little bit and all the other stuff. I mean, just a tiny little bit amount of other stuff. So why would you diet for so, like, why would you gain so much when most of it was gonna be fat and then you're gonna get, I mean, you're gonna be stuck with that fat, which you're gonna have to burn at some point. So a goal would typically be to gain about four pounds a month. So that would be okay. And you can assume some of it is water weight, most of it is muscle and some of it is fat. That would be kind of the target goal for the first year of training. The second year of training, obviously half of that, the third year of training, you would do half of that as well. And on the fourth year of training, since you already been training for a while, then it will come down to yearly planning. You will no longer be looking at it on a monthly basis, right? As a beginner, as someone who is, I guess, just starting out, you can look at your training as almost week to week basis. You want to be gaining weight, you want to be gaining muscle, you want to be progressing in the gym on a week to week basis. As an intermediate that's moving toward, I guess, the two years training category, you want to make sure that you're progressing on a month to month basis. Then you're going to closely look at those monthly numbers. As an advanced, uh, going further into advanced category, let's say three plus years of training, then you want to plan out more of those half year, maybe quarterly gains and as you move forward four plus years of training the gains are so small that you will probably have to plan a year to make sure that you gain those three pounds the first thing i want to say after you know all these numbers and how to use them in your diet and obviously you need to track your diet track your calories to know that you're not eating too much the first thing the guys will say okay so why the fuck am i training if i can only gain three pounds of muscle after four years of training so why am i doing this why am i lifting why am I busting my ass up in the gym? Well, look, don't take this as a crutch. Like knowing these numbers is a benefit for you so you can plan your diet. That's the simple benefit out of this. If someone actually builds 40 pounds of muscle, that person is gonna look amazing, right? That's gonna be ridiculous amount of muscle. As a natural, even gaining five pounds of muscle makes a huge difference on someone. Like it's an enormous difference, especially in a lower body fat percentage. When you lean, you can notice even those small tiny little gains year to year, if you take photos of yourself, you'll notice a big, big difference. So don't let this discourage you. I mean, you probably see some strained guy, like some powerlifter having like, I don't know, 270 pounds, like super strong. But look, he has a very high body fat percentage probably. And if he would lean down to let's say under 10% body fat, he would still probably be around maybe like 200 pounds. You will rarely see a natural having over 200 pounds. And one guy that did actually study on this is uh, Casey Butt. He analyzed all the natural bodybuilders, I guess that he knew, there was a big, like a big list. And he made a calculator where you can put your uh, ankle width, your, your wrist width, your height, your age, your weight, I think, something like that and he would give you the ideal potential. You can actually check out his calculator. I'm gonna put that link as well in the description below so you can kind of calculate your potential via that. But that's also a cool thing to, to check out. Generally, to summarize the video, don't take this as a crutch. Like guys will tell me, oh yeah, I know this genetic potential so I won't even bother to lift. Like why am I lifting if I'm not gonna gain anything? Well, look dude, you're gonna look amazing, right? There's no way you following an intelligent workout plan and a really good diet that you're not gonna look fantastic, you're gonna be in the best shape of your life, you're gonna be super healthy, you're gonna live long, you're gonna enjoy life, you're gonna get so much more energy in your life. It's like all of these nice stuff, all of these good things will happen to you. So don't take this as a crutch just so you get caught up in all the numbers or I'm gonna gain in my pound, you know. It's, it more comes down to actually just progressing. If you look at this in, a long, in the long term, it doesn't even matter if you're not meeting your full potential like on a year basis. If you're training for 10 years, you're gonna eventually get there, you're gonna make some amazing gains. And I personally know guys who have been training for 10 plus years, I mean, they look fantastic, they look absolutely incredible. And it's really not an excuse not to go to the gym and still do your training. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was 41, greetings from Helsinki. I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you have a question, by the way, for the Ask Mario Show, definitely leave it in the comments below. I'll get to your question. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.